Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game that we're making. When we last left off, we were trying to get this puzzle to work properly. Break the barrel? Yes. So, everything should be the way it should be now. If I look down there, ask the all-important question about the lifespan of slimes, metal slimes in particular. And if I come back into the place after leaving it, everything is where it needs to be. Awesome! We're ready to move on! Uh, off camera, I did a couple more changes, by the way. I'll go over them real quick here. So, let's see. First, after the door opens, I inserted a little wait, so there's a short pause before the camera goes back to where it was. And in regards to the slime being broken out of the barrel, there is, of course, now a pause before it reacts. And that's about it. Oh, yeah. And the sound effect. And that is it. We are ready to move on! So we're going to create a sample dungeon now. And for this, I want... Dungeon... Dungeon 2... 15. And we'll just call this pipe. And keep the music consistent for the moment. Alright, and we need to make sure that the player is sent to the pipe upon going down the stairs that we have set up. So first things first, we need a stair sound effect. For that, we need 26. And move to the pipe. And move here. Alright, there is a bottom to this, but I need to make sure that the player never actually sees the bottom. So, let's see here. I'm gonna create an event here. We're gonna stop the music when we get in there. So, let's see here. When we enter this map, be here. Alright, so... I kind of want the player to kind of look around where the, when they're here. Well, not like the player, but as a cutscene, the player character. Unfortunately, there is no turn option for playable characters, so I'm going to have to kind of make that up on my own. So, let's see here. Move party... no, character direction down. And then... Character direction right. Thank you. 
and then kind of be all frantic about it, so... Up and... Left... Right... And now we are gonna have to move, have the party move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll say eight. Along with the falling sound effect. Actually, before we have the party move down 8, we need to do a little trick here, because having the party move down 8 means that they would actually walk down the hole. We don't want that. We need them to remain still as they fall, so we're going to take advantage of a nifty little trick here. We're going to go to character status? No. Party status? Yes. We're going to paralyze the party. Having the party paralyze, for one thing, of course, gives them the paralysis status affliction, which is bad. Don't worry, we'll take it off after this cutscene is all over. But, this also means that when the player walks, they don't animate, so we'll have a proper non-animating fall. So, let's see how this kind of looks. Kind of like that. Let me take a look at that again. Hmm. Let's uh, uh, change this just a little bit. Yeah, having a uh, one second wait, maybe a little bit too long. And along with that, what if we also did this, but removed the weights from these? Last one. Well, without the weights, you never actually see the other moment, other movements. So, nah. So we'll just have it like that. Alright, so we have sufficiently created somewhat of a trap here. Well, admittedly not much of a trap because the player, the, the characters just stepped out into nothingness of their own free will. There was no trap. And, yeah, I know, we have a dragon on our team, could totally fly. But we're throwing logic out the window in this situation. Alright, so the next thing to do here is create another map. Now we'll be going into the bulk of the dungeon. So, let's see here. 
Gonna do something kind of special here. We're gonna be kind of inside, but also outside. So imagine something that's kind of like this. And then we'd have like a wall here, sort of like that. So, ignoring the obvious open space on the outside there, it'd be kind of like this. So we could have ourselves wandering around on the inside here while also seeing the sky below. As a reminder, we are currently inside a floating castle. This is essentially the final dungeon. So the idea here will be that we are underneath the dungeon. So let's get rid of all this now that we get an idea of it. We'll name this map under Castle. And I think for the moment I'm just gonna not really worry about looks, I just wanna get the path down. So we would be starting Somewhere around here, I guess. Probably. And an idea I have here is that we're going to be traveling across bridges. I won't worry about what directions the bridges face just yet. Just kind of want to get an idea of where all the bridges are. Kind of have to make this up as I go along a little bit here. That would likely be ground over here. And there's going to be kind of a puzzle involving all these bridges. The bridges are going to be moving. There's going to be like a switch over here that will allow this section of bridge to move over to the right a few spaces. To get over here. If only the bridge pieces and the ground that I want wasn't so dang far apart. Let's see here. I suppose I do kind of want some lava here. We're kind of on the underside of a castle that has previously dumped a metric ton of lava onto an unsuspecting town. And from here, there would be some more bridge. Hmm. Where would I... I, I want another switch somewhere. So we come over here. Maybe 
maybe I would have a switch like sitting right here or something. So there'd be more bridge right here. Possibly. Hmm. Uh, the idea that I'm trying to create here is that because of the fall from above, the party gets separated. So, Monkey D would land right here. Darius Strix would land like somewhere along here somewhere. And then Jenny would be somewhere down here. And so the player needs to kind of make the way back to Jenny and the other team and eventually gather up so they can eventually leave somewhere down in the lower left. That is the general idea that I'm trying to go for here. So, going down like that, and then there'd be some ground over here. actually also want some sort of treasure up here something really kind of nice that the player would want to go after so if this moves to the right three might want to consider moving this a little bit differently. Oop. So... possibly there. So the bridge will be that long, kind of. To okay, yeah, but down here is going to be a little bit different length than I initially planned. Instead, it's going to be kind of right there. Creating a dungeon with a sliding bridge puzzle is certainly going to take a little bit more forethought. Not as simple as just drawing a path. So, Jenny will probably be something like right around here. Alright, I have an idea of which way I want to go. So, Jenny will be kind of sitting... ...here...ish. And there's gonna be more moving bridges along here. There's going to be kind of a switch like sitting over here. So the player would have to go over here.
to flip the switch, which would pull this away from here, so the player is going to have to try to find the long way around. In fact, I'll probably... Yeah, I have another idea. So, let's see here. If the player's, like, going down this way... If this is the path that brings us to the bridge... Well, let's see here. This moves to the right three. One, two, three. So the end of it would be kind of right there. Mm, which I kind of don't want, actually. Let's actually have it right there. Yeah, actually I do want it right there. Actually, hold on. Um, how do I want to do this? So, this right here would be another segment of the bridge to that would get shifted over. So, perhaps... Mm -hmm, three. So, the player is like, hey, I'll flip this switch, and then that'll move that way, but oop, that also moves this this way, so that's actually a switch that the player would not want to flip. In actuality, the correct switch to flip would be kind of down here. But I'd also love another treasure over here somewhere. How do I want that to be grabbable? Well, let's see here. The player comes down here to flip a switch, right? Right. So, let's go ahead and create some amount of land here. Now, flip the switch. That goes up, and that also allows the player to go up here to get the... J get Jenny back, and also the treasure up here while they're at it. Now the trick that I'm trying to figure out is how to make it so there's also a treasure like right around here somewhere. And getting the girl also somehow gets you the treasure over here. Or perhaps maybe flipping this the wrong way or something. Hmm. This is definitely going to take some thought. I might have to do, like, some planning in between streams here in order to get this figured out the way I would like to have it. Yeah, this is going to take some extra thought, and I'm pretty much at the end of the stream anyway. 
So we will go ahead and bring things to a close. And next time we will finish this room and hopefully start creating some monsters. I was actually hoping to start creating monsters here in this stream, but the, the, the whole situation with trying to get that slime puzzle to work properly and also how much thought this bridge puzzle is taking definitely slows me down. It, it, it is... I should know better than predict what I'm going to be able to do in a stream. Because RPG Maker and, and vid uh, the video game creation is not a fast process. And I should never expect it to be. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.